Good morning, everyone. First off, do you notice anything you're missing? I don't know. Well, there's one car. There's no two cars. And if you guessed right, probably from the title and the thumbnail today, our car was stolen. So we got to run to the impound lot. The positive, any, is that they actually found the car. So we're actually going to go pick it up right now. I think they're dusting for fingerprints and all that. And luckily we have a bunch of security cameras too. So that's helping the situation. So right now they're dusting for prints and going through the whole, I don't want to say forensic because that seems really dramatic, but they're going through, they said processing. Don't know what that means, but they're processing the car. So now we just had to wait a little bit of time so that way we can actually go get it and they can finish their stuff. So this is gonna be a day. But yeah, Remy is on the mend right now. She doesn't have a fever, so that's the positive situation right now. But she still doesn't feel 100%. When it rains, it the pours. The fever has been gone, the fever's gone, so that's all that matters. Yeah, why would they walk on it? That seems like such a stupid thing. But also a very dumb thing because there's all the pollen on there. All the what? All the pollen on there made life a little easier. Jesus. The sunglasses missing? Or oh, your reading glasses are there. Do you have the keys? Can we open the door? Yeah, I already closed Okay. Um, what about the back? Do you need to do anything back here? It doesn't look like they did anything back here. I'm just assuming they feel like an asshole stealing from a, a mom. <laughs> you would think so. Allie, is that your hat? I don't know what that plastic's from, but that's not mine. Can we lift up that sun yeah. shield? Yeah, let me lift it up. There's a plastic bag back here. I mean, a paper bag back here. It doesn't look like ours. I took a couple of my glasses around. Your glasses? Yeah, Well, I found the hand sanitizer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you guys looked inside here? And I can touch it. Anything else under there? Oh my god. This is some hardcore stuff right now. I can't believe they did this. Who jumps on it? <laughs> this is definitely not a way to start a day, that's for sure. I've got to say, hands down, this is probably one of the weirdest situations I've uh, ever ever seen oh i mean i haven't seen a stolen car before i've never had my car stolen or anything like that so far the car it just looks like it was just like dishe disheveled it doesn't look like it was destroyed luckily i don't know what idiots would jump on the roof or anything like that because apparently uh the forensic people were going through and they found some prints and things like that with very helpful situation we got the security footage Which is insane, because in one of the clips, it looks like they went to my car, and uh, they look like they were hiding from somebody on a bike, because we have people in our neighborhood that, um, they exercise all the time. They're already bikes at night and things like that. And here's the strangest, weirdest uh, situation, because Remy obviously has a uh, fever, and she hasn't been feeling very tip-top. So we didn't end up getting to bed until super late. And I remember going out to put away the milk, and like wash my hands or do something like that. And I remember see, like seeing the car pull back really fast and pull forward. And I didn't put two and two together. I, I came in the alleys, I was like, that was really weird. It looked like somebody was turning in our driveway and turned around and then they were definitely drunk. Didn't put two and two together that our car was no longer in the situation. I don't know, it's, it's, all of this is really strange. Very violating, you know what I mean? Like it just feels incredibly violating. But we had the forensic team uh, come and swab and do all the uh, whatever they do all the awesome stuff and they jumped on the roof Which is so stupid like I don't know why they did that unless they did like a running jump so They had to have used their hands or something. Okay, here's the good thing I was about to get Allie's car cleaned earlier that day and thank God I didn't because all those prints are because of the pollen on the car 
crazy. I guess the worst situation is, I guess, the car smells like marijuana. I guess, in the grand scheme, that could be a lot worse. It could have been slash things, you know what I mean? Apparently, what happened was the car was driving around 4 a.m., 5 a.m., and somebody called it in that they looked like they were drunk and swerving everywhere. I guess the car pulled into, a like, a church, and they bailed, and then that's how they found the car. I can't believe that somebody actually saw them driving like that because without that, we probably would not be having this car right now, which is really frightening. I'm just trying to air everything out. So boy, that is just not the way we planned on starting our morning. It's such a weird feeling. I don't know if any of you out there have ever had your car stolen. You do feel so violated. You kind of feel gross. I don't know. I feel awkward. If there's any positive in the day, it's that Remy is getting better. And that makes us so happy. And she's loving this. We've been like putting a little bit more water in the tub with Remy. She loves splashing in the water. That's like her favorite thing in the entire world. She kicks and splashes the entire time she's in there and it's the cutest thing in the entire world. Yeah. Good girl. We're gonna put the baby gate up now that uh, she's crawling. the mosquitoes are gone and she's crawling so we can come outside a little bit more. So while Allie takes care of little Remosaurus in her little cage, her baby jail, getting pruned everywhere, which by the way, she her appetite is back. It's very, it's like coming back, but it's not as successful as I want it to be. There's more prunes on your shirt than there's prunes in your mouth. And then you spot your juice. She's like apples, though. She does, as she steps on it. Whoa, we color goes. the book over here. No. There it is. So we've dented my car up here. Couple other places so you can see they were like like walking out my car. Then they just like I don't know what happened. It's like it exploded in here. They got stuff everywhere, and it could be from the dust. But there is ash everywhere, all in my car from smoking and food and all this weird stuff that's all in here right now. It reeks of stuff. It did. I, I'm trying to like get a little bit organized back here, but there is just like stuff everywhere and just such an awkward situation so we're just like going through the car and seeing where there's like you know situations that are dinged or messed up because they had a fun time can you see it now can you see it like right there so look can you guys see it there's all their footprints up here so there's like a solid footprint right there of them jumping up on the car i can't believe they did it another thing they took was this thing that char got me it's like a thing that if i were to ever get into a car accident or in a situation where i needed to like get out of my seatbelt and get out of the car quickly. It's like a device, it's really amazing. It's like a life-saving device, essentially. They stole that too. But I'm glad it's not destroyed, and I'm glad that no one was hurt. That's like my biggest thing, that Char and I weren't hurt, the baby wasn't hurt, that nobody on the road was hurt. So there, that's the, the positive in, the, in this whole situation. It's just a material thing, it still sucks, but all in all, it's gonna be okay. So because the car, Ali's car was damaged, it's getting repaired right now. It's at the dealership. We got a rental car and this thing is massive. It's like a giant like it cat. It's, yeah, it's just huge. <laughs> you feel like what? I feel like it growls. It growls? Why, right, because it's so big? Well, like when I stop, you know, it does like the, turns the engine off thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. And like then, the old BMW did that too. And then it turns back on and it's like, Rawr. <laughs> She's gonna enjoy this giant ride that's for sure she's just getting the rest of it out of her system well if you think about when you're sick all you want to do is sleep and drink water and hydrate just basically sleeping and just drinking and eating as this much as you can <laughs> we're just gonna take some extra uh, precautions we actually have more security uh, cameras being installed actually I think they might be done they kind of fast-tracked it for us I know a lot of people probably think we're being crazy but I don't think so I don't think we are if there's anything that I've learned throughout my years of being with Charles you can never be too safe and you had a car stolen before I've had a car stolen before it was I was younger but I've had it stolen out in front of my mom was it no 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 it was out in front of my ex-boyfriend's house I'm not upset about the material aspect of it I'm upset that they stole my car sat and messed with where my baby sits. Touch things that my we use for my baby. Like that 
infuriates me. All for what? For a joyride or whatever it is that you want? Like, that's so shameful and disgusting. You never mess with a mother. That is one thing, you never mess with a mother. They will claw at you viciously. I will literally- Figuratively rip, and I literally. I will literally rip your face off. But yeah, we uh, fast tracked, so I think we're getting uh, a few more uh, security cameras. By the time we get home, they should be installed, I think. Yeah, we sent the um, the information I showed you guys in the video earlier, the clip that we had, but we're now putting more around so that that ever, God forbid, ever happens, uh, there'll be better shots. These are better cameras too, so it's even better. I'll use every last cent on security. I, I can't emphasize it enough. And you know what's funny is we were talking to uh, the police officer and they are like really cracking down on car theft and breaking and entering and all that jazz and like they've come up with all these like new things techniques and things that they use to identify suspects and the great things is that, is that most people now have security cameras schools have security cameras you know businesses have security cameras so there is always a way to find out and that was the other thing our there's we live by a school relatively close to a school so they have security cameras that are talking with the cops where they abandoned this car. yeah and where they abandoned the car was at a church and they have security cameras as well as a bunch of our neighbors so there's cameras like all around Addicted. They're like my favorite couple. Are you feeling better? Hey, Are you feeling better? Hey, you. You. You feeling better? Just a little bit? Well, it's been a very interesting day today, guys. We got more cameras installed. We got the car back, which is the positive thing. I think it's just more of the principle of somebody being such a it's just, jerk it's, like to we doing said that earlier, kind of stuff. It's yeah. just feel violated. It yeah. sucks. But it's a material thing, and I know people are like, oh, you wouldn't be sitting there if you lost your car. Probably right. I probably wouldn't be saying it if the, gar the car was gone. Nobody was hurt. Yeah, exactly. Nobody That's the most like important thing. Poor Allie's had her car <laughs> stolen like three times. So she's got a great track record, unfortunately. <laughs> but, yeah? Yeah? You feel better? What do you think? No, please tell me. What do you think about this? Ugh. You slimy little hands. <laughs> See, this makes everything worth it, guys. I actually, in the comments, have you guys ever had? Have you guys ever had anything <laughs> stolen or anything like that? Um, and if you have, let me know. Do you think Remy's gonna be as loud as this wife of mine? <laughs> I gotta wash my face so I don't get cold. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.